Welcome to probably one of my most exciting vlogs of all time. You guys are about to go look at houses. We are house hunting today. My first ever house hunting vlog. I can't believe it. I'm trying not to get my hopes up. You know, just be chill, go with the flow, see how it goes. I mean, I don't know this process because I would be like a first time home buyer. Yeah. I like can't believe the day is finally here on Cape Cod. If you guys don't know, my boyfriend Max is from Cape Cod. We love it here so much and this is going to be like a summer home since we live wherever he plays hockey during the hockey season, which is like pretty much September, October through May. It would be so nice to have a home base, especially on the Cape. Like we just kind of were thinking since this past off season, this past summer, we were in Boston, which I loved. But when I did some reflecting on the summer, my favorite moments were on Cape Cod because Cape Cod in the summer is just like magical. It's so nice being close to Max's family since they're here. So yes, Lucy got to join me. Lucy's coming with. Max, unfortunately, is playing hockey in Pennsylvania. So he can't look with me. I'm gonna send him a bunch of pictures and videos and stuff. My mom knows me so well. I was talking to her. She was like, don't get your mind set on something. Don't be stubborn. Don't be spontaneous. Don't be rash. This is one of the biggest purchases you'll ever make. Be smart and practical. I'm like so nervous, but I'm so excited. We're seeing five in total today. I'm only down for today, and then I'm going back to Boston with Lucy tomorrow. So this is just preliminary. Like if it's meant to be, it'll be. I need to like not be upset because there's already some homes that I fell in love with on Zillow, and they're now pending. So we actually can't take a look at them. I thought we were still gonna be able to look at a couple if they weren't like that far along in the process but i think if they've accepted offers then we can't see them so i'm really sad like about a couple but i need to just keep an open mind and maybe they'll fall through if it's going to be it'll be i'm like can we just like offer more and get that one that i saw online that i really liked but yes i'm sure like a bunch more will be coming up in the spring so if i have to come back to look i will I don't want to feel rushed to try to get one in for the summer like it would be lovely if we could but i'm not getting my mindset on it because i don't want to rush into anything that's like such a big deal you know okay here we go it is it's like a feeling yeah no it, it, that's what people have I know this is like a cute like, like all the style. Yeah. So beachy. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> The yard going. <laughs> I'd be reading. So far, this is the third. Chase just joined us, which is fun because she wants to see this morning, but now she's free. So I was like, come over here, meet us. And then after this, we have two more. Nice and big. We love the kitchen. Lucy, Lucy goes, this is your closet. And she said it Max has his own. <laughs> the linen closet. <laughs> okay, this might be my shower. favorite bathroom yet. I love this. Look at the lights. So and, like, cute. I like this. Yeah, I walked in. I was really in the cute. black, like on the shower. I really like that. Yeah, I love this. Model C. Last house. 
The basement is pretty cool. I think it's the only one we're seeing with like a finished basement like this. Walks right out. Like this is so nice. Come on, right? Wait till you guys see the freaking backyard. Here we are. Kitchen. This freaking yard is so nice. The pool, pool house. So new. We got this room. This room. Oh, I love this one. I knew I would. Bathrooms are all cute. Oh, this master is just so good. It's so cozy. The fireplaces, just make it. We love the shiplap. <laughs> we love the driveway. I'm exhausted, how about you, Lou? <laughs> this has been a long day. <laughs> this closet looks just like my closet in the South End in Boston. If you guys remember the apartment I lived with Taylor, it looks exactly the same, which is funny. Maybe it's an omen. And then here's the master bath, cute. This like weirdly feels tight to me. You know what I mean, Lou? Like the vanity feels really tight to the tub, but like, whatever. Need the best donut ever to end the day. Mm, mm, mm. We're exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my camera's about to die now. It's later, we just went to Nirvana. I'm running on coffee today. I'm so exhausted, it's been the longest day. I don't think I've ever been so drained. I'll have to fill you guys in. On all the details. Back in Boston and I have some explaining to do with the house search. Even saying that, I'm like exhausted. <laughs> but before we get into all that, I'm going to shout out the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much, Way, for working with me on this video. You guys know my most favorite hair care brand. Just got a shower a little bit ago. My hair is like damp. I'm about to blow dry it in a sec. You've probably heard me talk about it in my videos in the past, but the hair care routine, the gist, looks like this. The Way Detox Shampoo, the best clarifying shampoo I've ever used in my whole entire life. I've gone through like a million bottles of these. So good at getting all the product buildup out of your hair. And then I go in with their anti-dandruff shampoo. I always do like a double cleanse like that because I feel like it really gets all the junk out of my hair. Obviously just good at soothing an itchy, irritated, dry scalp. Because in the winter, I have like such a dry scalp. And then right now, I'm gonna go in with their scalp serum. Like everyone I know loves this stuff. Stuff, and I focus it on the front because that's where I'm really trying to have like a healthy hydrated balanced scalp to support some healthy growth up here feels really nice my sister's obsessed with this because she's like it just feels so good on my scalp yeah it just feels like cool and like kind of minty on your scalp if that makes sense you know my code is the same if you guys go to the way.com that's t-h-e-o-u-a-i.com and use my code gg you'll get 15 percent off your entire purchase don't forget to use code gg for 15 percent off i'll have way link down below i'm gonna blow dry my hair and we're gonna have our chat Here is a situation, what was I saying when my camera was dying and I was walking back from Nirvana, I was just like, I'm so tired, whatever. So if I didn't really explain well enough in the beginning, this would just be a summer home, I guess you could say. That sounds so bougie, like this is our summer home. No, we don't have a home yet. This is like the first home I would ever be buying, obviously. But since you guys know Max plays hockey, wherever he's gonna be for the hockey season is where we would have to be fall, winter, spring. And so the off season is only in the summer, so that's why it's just an off season home, okay? I think I said I'm still open to the idea of renting it out during fall, winter, spring. I feel very conflicted with that. Just the idea of someone like being in my home in my space, but then like financially, obviously makes a lot of sense if we will not be there eight, nine months of the year and I'm paying a mortgage on it, so. That's like something to consider with the home that we're buying. There's like that, so much that goes into it. It's not a forever home. I was advised by my financial advisor, accountants, like make sure this is something that you can very comfortably, comfortably afford and not really like push yourself, especially being so young. They're like, don't really stress yourself out financially, especially because we'll also be needing to pay rent somewhere else, whatever. So there's like a lot that goes into this year. Also, I believe that houses are still technically 
basically like overpriced you guys probably have like opinions on this and like interest rates are pretty high so i don't think it's like the best best time to buy but also who's to say what will happen with home prices and interest rates in the near future right? like it could just go up and i'm just feeling like saddened by it because none of the houses we saw felt just right and I may have mentioned this before, but I think I went about it the wrong way of getting my mind kind of set on a couple homes that I saw in Zillow in the past month and literally like a couple days leading up to meeting up with a realtor and looking at homes. They accepted offers and were pending. And I thought pending was like, oh, maybe they have some offers. She was like, no, that means they've accepted an offer. So really the only way it could come back on is if it like falls through, financing doesn't work out inspection, blah, 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 stuff like that. Also, if I'm saying anything wrong, take this with a grain of salt because obviously I don't really know what I'm talking about because this is like the first time. But pretty much the first one we saw was on the beach, which is crazy because I didn't think that could actually be like a possibility. It really isn't. Like I can't really afford that one. That would be like really stressing me out financially, which I was told not to do. So there's that. Also, it's like the smallest one and there's things that we love about it, obviously, but then I was talking to my realtor, I'm like, I can't believe I'm complaining about being on the beach. I'm not really complaining. But it just made me realize, like, there's no grass. Like, there's no, like, fenced in yard for Brody. There's, like, nothing like that. So it seemed like from each, we saw five homes. From each one, there were things that I liked and things that I didn't like. So I want to, like, take all the aspects that I like and, like, put them in one and make it more affordable. But it doesn't really exist. So, yeah, that was the first one. The second one, I really didn't like. It wasn't cohesive, it was like remodel. So there was like literally six different types of floorings and walls and I didn't like the layout. There was like a lot of things I didn't like. I loved like the outside, the yard, the water. I don't even know if I showed that much of that one. Third, also I didn't like a lot about it. I didn't like the yard. I didn't like the location. It was off kind of like a busy area. Max's sister Chase met up with us and was like, look at your front yard is big, but there's literally like a guardrail uh, at where your yard starts from the road because it's like that busy of a road. And I'm like, I would not feel safe with Brody. There are just some like non-negotiables for me. And I also was realizing how much location mattered way more to me than I thought it would. Wait, wait, I'm mixing up the order. The third one I liked. Two and four I didn't like. <laughs> whatever this is just me chatting about the experience yeah the third was like a new build but it was different than how I thought in person and like that one I really really did like and I really like the exterior I think I showed that it was white the inside was so cohesive so three and two were so different because two was like it was remodeled a bunch of different times I'm like none nothing in this house like flows together and then three was the opposite because it was new build love the outside big nice backyard the inside I really liked I don't have too much to complain about that one other than me Lucy and Chase all were like where's the second floor? Like I kept being like, I feel like the stairs should be right here. Like it felt like there was supposed to be a second floor. And my realtor was like, do you really want a second floor? And I'm like, well, I never really thought about it. I mean, I live in like a one floor apartment right now. I would think that, you know, like ranch style, I guess like one floor would be fine. And she was like, okay, well, let me ask you something. Like, did you grow up in a home with two floors? And I'm like, yeah, we've always been in homes with two floors. She's like, that's why you feel that way. Like, that's fine that you want that. But I never really, so I was just like learning a lot too about more about like what I wanted. So that, and really the location was kind of like the deal breaker on that one. Wasn't really in like a location we wanted to be in. I might've said this before, but I'm also realizing how hard it is with like new builds and new construction in a place where there's already like so many homes on all the land and I just feel like when there are new builds and new construction it's few and far between like you look into the homes on the cape and it's like 500 and then you click like new construction new build and then it's like 20 homes and then they're like maybe not in the best areas because they're the areas where there is open land so it's kind of like in the middle of nowhere so that was kind of like my experience with that the what was the fourth home we saw why I'm like forgetting the order the last one oh no the fourth the fourth one was the one that I didn't like it had, weirdly had like lots of land But you couldn't like build on it or do anything with it. And it was like swamps. I really didn't like the layout I only liked the kitchen. So that was that and then the fifth home I liked probably the most was that your favorite or the first I mean on the beach. Lastly the last home was beautiful like almost perfect The backyard I'm like I would live here just for the backyard if you guys saw that there was like pool it was fencing so nice for brody so much grass there's also like a pool guest house which is just like whoa like that's fun and like an added bonus like that i did not need at all the home was like big everything was so pretty nice on the inside i loved it i really loved like the living room area the kitchen felt wrong like i'm realizing how picky i am because i was like i don't know how to pinpoint anything the kitchen's beautiful but it doesn't feel right this kitchen i'm obsessed with this kitchen feels right to me and that one i felt like it was such a beautiful big home and the kitchen's really small and kind of dark so it didn't really match with like the rest of the house and the location really like was it good <laughs> 
Brody right now if you hear them. And so yeah, locations just kind of being like a deal breaker. Also like, <laughs> all these ones are so expensive. I'm like, can we find better? bit cheaper but I'm just like yeah kind of heartbroken this one home was like oddly less <laughs> than all the rest but seemed like exactly what Max and I wanted and a good location the best yard and just seemed like such a perfect first home and we couldn't even look at it because it was pending so I feel like I went into it with the wrong mindset of like oh the ones I'm looking at I'm not like so excited about but I was telling my re realtor too how pleasantly surprised I was that the listing photos were really like how the places looked in person so I really trust those photos now because like it gives such a good idea you just don't really have an idea of like the area the vibe per se little things like how tall the ceilings are like the layout stuff like that but like it pretty much was like how i thought it was gonna be i feel like i'm talking in circles <laughs> Hopefully I'm getting out like everything I wanted to say. I was saying that, yeah, the one that we really like had our mindset on, it had like a light blue door. We literally named it Little Blue and I just need to get over it. It's later, but I didn't finish talking about the whole home situation. I feel like I just need to go with the flow and it's one of those things that like if it's meant to be, it'll be and it just kind of all like works out like i'm still being proactive and looking and stuff i need to not just get my heart set on it i've already said i literally can't remember what i said or not how uh my mom was just like gretchen you are such like a stubborn person that gets your mindset on something and you can be really spontaneous for example my car it's typically not how you go about buying cars i feel like you want to do it the right way whenever i get my next car i want to do it the right way i want to look at all my options i want to test drive i want to really sleep on it think on it whatever my current car I went home during a break during my junior year of college. I was home for like three days. I got home the first day and I decided I want a car. And you know what I am decided I'm going to do? I'm going to drive back to Boston because I'm so done with not having a car. I'm going to buy a car while I'm home. My parents were like, no, don't do that. And I was like, too bad. I'm going to buy it. So it's my car. So I'm going to decide. And I literally called around. And I like probably wasn't perfect. Probably overpaid. But I was like, I want it and I want it now. Got the car. Drove back to Boston. It's been my car forever now. Like no regrets in hindsight. I wish I would have done like a little more research, just been a little bit more thorough. And obviously the house, like it needs to be that way. So my mom was like, don't be how you are. Like be good with this. So I am, she's like, don't get your heart set on it. Be okay with like renting the summer, which I definitely am okay with. But see, this is like the final thing I feel like I need to discuss with you guys is that Cape Cod in the summer, <laughs> you may know, or maybe you don't know, but like a really like summer vacation destination touristy spot is gonna be insanely expensive in the summer like real estate is expensive enough as it is and it's just mind-boggling to me because i grew up in albany new york where i feel like real estate is just not nearly as expensive it's like half as expensive as on the cape so i'm looking at these houses and i'm like oh my gosh anyway rent is so expensive in the summer on the cape like 10 times more than a mortgage so that's why i'm like I literally don't know if we could rent there in the summer. Like, like a mortgage makes more sense. Like, we'd be saving money, not like long-term. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, literally, a home can be like, I thought it was like, even if it was like $10,000 a month. That's nuts. No, no, no. Some of these homes are like $10,000 a week. Like, I'm trying to like, <laughs> so then like, we wouldn't even be able to get a house. Like, so I'm just feeling like discouraged. Like, I don't really know what to do. I keep looking, but just like, nothing's perfect and just... Maybe I just wasn't realistic in what I thought like my budget could get and I don't want hate. <laughs> I'm scared I'm gonna get hate right now. I know a lot of you maybe are not in a position of looking at a home and I get it. Like we're very blessed and young and stuff. Well, tell us how you feel. I just don't want anyone to be mad at me, but this is just like the situation. Like I'm just being open and honest and sharing. Obviously no one can relate like if you're watching <laughs> unless you're like, I don't know like older fortunate and younger or like more established in your career or like older more established in your career because you've been working in your career for 10 years career that's like there's been more opportunity you've worked harder like it's been a combination of things but like mm -hmm. obviously it's not a relatable situation for most people here um, i am like house hunting thinking that i can get one of these houses and like i probably can't like I can't relate, but I'm interested. I'm going. Like, what is our? What do you I think is our solution for the summer? Just keep looking and be open-minded. But what if we literally can't find a house and we can't afford rent well, on the Cape? Then we just can't be on the Cape for the I summer. I don't think you. I feel like you wouldn't want to be st like think about it realistically. You're not in the same place all summer. How often were you in Boston, like in your apartment in Boston? All yeah, summer? like we like you're around. gonna be around. But we do need like a you're home base. Travel. Like yeah, you do, but like that could be. <laughs> it could be wherever that could be like 
back to his family's house if you want to leave some stuff there. Mm -hmm. And if you rent a place in the Cape a bit, you rent a place in a couple like different towns. We could towns extend our lease in Allentown, but like if we're not going to be there in the fall, no, just that would do just be like done. I think you should do like a storage unit or something else instead, and just like put that stuff there. Yeah. Think about it later, and then just maybe I think you should if you don't find the place by the summer or whenever your goal is. I think you should just rent a few at a few different towns you could see yourself in and then see what vibe you like and like like move around a lot not like move around a lot but like you're never in the same place anyways so like pick a yeah. home base whether it's albany or like rent at the cape for a bit rent in duxbury for a bit rent in cohasset for lucy a bit. like with what money <laughs> i'm just saying like a week like i don't know i know I a couple days like whatever i know you have friends, people who pay, like, I don't know. I know. The other level is that, is that I don't know if I've fun? said that we don't know where we're going to live in the fall. So it's kind of an easier, like, in the past. Like, we, like for example, last off-season going into this season, we knew that we were still in Pennsylvania. So we left, like, all of our furniture in our place in Pennsylvania, kept the lease going, knew that we would just be able to go back in the fall. Easy. And I don't think you buy a house that you won't like long term or that you don't think is it just because you don't know what your home base is going to be. I know. Like we just have to be and smart. I, like, like, yeah, renting is almost as expensive as buying a house, but like, no, it's more on the Cape. Exactly. But like, are you going to buy a house and then try to sell it? Like that's annoying too. I know. If like anyone has advice, I don't know if I want to like open the floodgates, but I don't know. Basically, just disclaimer that I know Basically, this isn't everyone has problems. I'm having problems with renting and trying to find a new apartment. Yeah. There's just different levels. Yeah, problems, like this isn't problems. relatable, but also please understand that our situation is quite odd and like I feel like it's common that someone who is a hockey player and their partner or families will try to find just, a permanent home base to feel a sense of home it's and just like more money more stability. I have little renting, yeah. leasing problems, but you have house problems, you know, it's just different levels. But like, you know what I mean, Like if you're bouncing yeah, around I each do. year, you I want like a home base. Yeah, obviously. So that's like the situation. And especially if like a lot of just them a like, like building a family and blah, blah, blah. You need like a home base for yeah. just everything. Yeah. That's the whole house situation. So I'll keep looking and we shall see. And if it's meant to be, it'll be. That's all I got. Love ya. Thanks for watching this vlog. Thanks for hearing our thoughts. You know they can like hear you blowing your nose, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay. I'm ending off the vlog. Love ya. I was Hope you enjoyed the houses we did see. Bye.